everybody. Welcome to this tutorial on replacing the Ethernet port for your iPico light reader. Today we're going to be using a product called the uh, NE8FDV-YK made by Nutrig. You can purchase this online at a place like um, Parts Express or you know any, any other retailer that sells uh, electronic parts like that. Now one thing that I do want to point out uh, before we get started in this is that one tool that you're going to need is a punch down tool. Now, uh, the punch down tool that is going to be used for this system is actually called a Crone. That's spelled K R O N E. It's a Crone punch down tool. The one that I'm showing you here is actually one that I went out and purchased today uh, because I didn't actually have one. And in the past, I've just been kind of uh, making do with uh, various knives and things like that. But uh, it really is best if you get a punch down tool. Now, you want to be sure that you get the Crone punch down tool. The one that I've just showed you there is actually for, uh, <clears throat> it's made for 110 terminal blocks. Uh, and that's a different system. So if you get that, it's not going to fit. So what I've done is actually gone and made a very rudimentary uh, tool for myself, uh, just made out of a, a rivet that I kind of beat down with a hammer and then shaped with another tool. So uh, it's a very simple, simple device. Um, but I would definitely recommend that you go out and purchase an actual one. They're very, very cheap. Uh, in the U.S., I believe you can get them for around seven, between seven and ten dollars uh, online. So um, the the basic process is, as you can see here, to take the tool uh, and you're going to press it down into the little notches uh, in the terminals. So the back back side of this is going to have uh, eight different terminals. And uh, we're only going to use four of them, uh, but you're going to basically take that and the notch is going to be able to be used first and foremost to actually remove the old wire or remove the wires from the old connector. So if you've got this old connector and you need to remove it, it comes in real handy there. Um, before we even get started actually working with the punch down tool, we need to actually go ahead and insert the uh, connector onto our faceplate. So uh, as you can see here, I'm dismantling the uh, the front part of that, and I'm going to go ahead and stick this on the back, and then we're going to go ahead and connect the uh, you know the the face plate to the connector. Uh, you want to start off using that little push button. Um, I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's basically just a little a little push button uh, that is on there, and you go ahead and put that on first, then slide the little face plate on top of that and then the screws and get those screwed in place. Once you've got that in place, we can uh, flip it over and we'll start working on those punch downs. Okay, so as you can see here um, on the back, we've got several different uh, diagrams. The ones we're going to be using are on the B side. So that's orange, light, or excuse me, white, then orange, white, then green, and then dark green. Um, just basically use that and punch them down in that order and you should be good. So as you can see here, uh, I'm going to basically start off just with my dark green on the back in there. Uh, you want to try and be as careful as possible to uh, be gentle with these because as you can tell probably uh, if you're not careful you'll end up breaking the little wires and then you'll have to kind of readjust and uh, you know basically pull some more wire out in order to, to access enough in order to connect it. Um, so basically, yeah, that's what I'm doing here is I'm just going to go through, I'm going to put them in order and I'm going to punch it down with my tool. Once I've done that, um, I can uh, essentially uh, reconnect my faceplate to my system and I should be good to go. I want to thank you for watching and I hope this has been beneficial.